New traffic safety measures may finally be coming to an iconic St. Louis business. But some city residents say it's taken the city way too long after two people died two years ago crossing Chippewa on their way to Ted Drew's frozen custard. Fox 2's Max Deaknight breaks down the changes you may soon notice at the St. Louis staple. A great weekend for Ted Drew's frozen custard. Many times this weekend the line backed up all the way here along Chippewa. You can see though the only thing protecting people here at the custard stand are these old red barricades. The city says that's going to change soon. Changes are coming to this St. Louis staple and many feel they're long overdue. Earlier this month, someone drove their car into a fire hydrant across the street from Ted Drew's. The city quickly put up a protective bollard. They came under fire for that because in 2022, two people died crossing Chippewa to get to Ted Drew's, including 17 year old CBC student Matthew Nikolai. And still nothing has been done to make the street safer. I think it's very critical to keep this spot safe because of the, the fact that it is such a, a gathering place for the city. It gets pretty crowded, certainly. So yeah, it's probably a good idea to, to make it safer. Safer for families like the Rollmans. They brought their son Nolan up for some strawberry custard. I mean, you've got so many families and with young kids here and the fact that there's no physical barrier preventing, you know, blocking you from the road. Um, I think having something like that would be really beneficial. And city officials say changes are finally coming. Starting in January, crews will move the east entrance to the parking lot, add a signalized crosswalk, more lighting, and a camera connected to the real-time crime center. Finally, they plan to put up new concrete bollards along the front of Ted Drew's, protecting those of you standing in line to buy their famous custard. Brian Dillon, grandson of founder Ted Drew's Jr., says while these delays have been frustrating for everyone, he thinks the upgrades will be well worth the wait. People are clamoring for something to happen, but if, if something happens and it's not the right thing, then uh, it won't fix anything. If it gets done, it gets done. Uh, and that's what is important. And again, these new safety improvements are supposed to come starting in January. The project set to be finished up by March of 2025. Reporting in St. Louis, Max Deaknight, Fox 2 News.